Welcome to BGP. Today, we will be discussing the question that we keep hearing and seeing all over the world. Is social media keeping you single? Hmm. <laughs> what do you What do you think? I'm, I'm going to start with you, Adrian. What do you think? You know, I think it has a big part of being single. I think because we are putting up a persona, fake a facade, if you will. Um, we're not being our authentic self there. And I don't think not very many people are. Uh, then you do come across guys who absolutely cannot stand women to constantly be on social media. Um, I think that's a turnoff for some men. And uh, we have to be mindful of that. So, yeah, I think it, it, it does have a huge part in why we remain single. Mm-hmm. Mona? I think that social media... <clears throat> Absolutely, it's keeping a lot of people singing. I mean, singing, <laughs> single because <laughs> of the simple fact that we care what other people think mm-hmm. too much. Too much. Mm-hmm. You know what our significant other looks like, how much they weigh, how tall they are, what kind of clothes they wear, where they work at, what kind of car they drive, do they have a house, do they live with their mama, Um, letting everybody in our business, like those people are the actual people that are going to have the relationship with our significant others. And I think, yeah, that's why a lot of people are single. I've never seen so many people um, get advice from people that they don't know have never seen. Because a lot of us have a small circle of friends that we run to Mm -hmm. when we have issues. But it just seems like everybody can speak on your situation that you put out there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 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 I absolutely agree. I've been saying this for a while now that I feel like the reason why we have so many people single, um, ranging between their 20s and, and, and 60, is um, social media. Mm -hmm. Because you have a lot of single people who are miserable as fuck giving out bad advice I mean they're they're giving out marriage advice and they ain't never been married they're giving out you know don't date this this woman if she is not a, a 10 um, don't it send send her send pictures of her to your friends and let them decide mm-hmm. if you should continue on with getting to know this woman or send pictures of to your girlfriends at, of this guy and see if you know you should continue on with this person. Um, we know the infamous don't date single mothers, don't date divorcees, don't date women that are older, uh, don't date women with kids, don't date you know don't date men that don't make uh, six figures, don't date uh, men that are not past five foot uh, no not past six feet you know uh, don't date women that um, are not physically you know attractive, and so. My opinion, because I grew up at the tail end um, of Gen X, is that I remember a time when social media didn't exist. And my opinion, we had more people that were dating and commuting and getting married to one another. And then social media came and it's just like, whew, you got this divide. You got the men going their own way, women going their own way for a B movement. Um, you got... Uh, Married people telling single people don't get married. Single people telling single people don't get married. Mm. Uh, married people pretending that they're not married. <laughs> <laughs> all of that. You know, you got all this happening on social media. And then you're telling, you know, women, make sure you vet. Okay? Vet. <laughs> but they're running across all of this. And they're hearing these stories and discussions every day. And I think it scares a lot of us, if I'm being honest. What you think? I think, um, too, you have the messy bitch crew. Yes. That's going to be out there. You may you may be making a little love connection with somebody on social media, and he hearts your pictures mm-hmm. all the time or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you got the messy females mm-hmm. that get on there and just stir up drama. Mm-hmm. They can be very immature. They can be very... Um, just just start it just gets really really messy mm-hmm. and that in itself can cause you to stay in that single mode because yep. it's like i don't want to try that, that. Your, yeah i don't want to stay over here girl? is that your people <laughs> yep. they get in your dms oh i don't don't trip that's my so that's my sister trip. yeah <laughs> so it just gets really really ugly so i think um 
it's just a uh it's just not a good place to although I that even Facebook now has a little dating thing that yeah. you can go on and all of that but I just choose to meet people the old fashioned way. You know, you we may meet there, mm-hmm. but after we meet if we've decided okay, we're going to start dating, I'm not putting my person or my status with that person mm-hmm. on on Facebook, uh Instagram or none of that. You know, that's that's interesting because I had some men ask me recently, like, Nisha, if you got in a relationship, would you post him online? And I said, no. Mm -hmm. And they're like, why not? And I was like, why would I do that? And it was like, I would think you have something to hide if you don't want to post him. And I'm like, social media is not real life. It's fake. Mm -hmm. It's not real. I'm like, I would rather spend my time with you in the real world Mm -hmm. as opposed to posting up happy pictures or in relationship with or because we I'm sure you've seen people that be like I'm in a relationship with Adrian Uh and then a few weeks later that 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 status goes away it's complicated it's it's, yeah yeah Yeah. it's like wait a minute (laughs) yeah what happened happened? like (laughs) you know so no no I feel like people give too much of their time attention um, to to social media and it's kind of made people like cuckoo mm-hmm. um, and keeping them single in my opinion so yeah that's what I'm thinking what you got Mona yeah I, I, I like the old fashioned way I don't like to text mm-hmm. I don't yes no and maybe a, a one or two sentences call me mm-hmm. <clears throat> I need right. to talk to you on the phone I, I need to see you in person mm-hmm. I need to figure out who you are off of social media because there's a lot of people that are just jokesters. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are sh- shit starters, they mm-hmm. antagonizers. Mm-hmm. They're so miserable, they're going to make everybody else uh, miserable. There's a lot of people that are sick. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> they've never gotten over the girl that didn't ask them to be there Valentine <laughs> in the kindergarten, yeah. you know, and they're taking the revenge out on every woman right. after that. You know, there's a lot of women that didn't get asked to the prom and they mad at everybody or this certain type of man. Well, you know, uh, every man that's six foot and, and 250 pounds is going to get you. You know, <laughs> every woman that's right. five, two with green eyes and long red hair yeah. going to tear you up, you know? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. and they project that out into the world and we latch onto it because a lot of people are not healed either, you know? So mm-hmm. trauma supports trauma. Yeah. And, exactly. and now trauma. everybody is traumatized all over again and nobody's resolving any issues and nobody's getting healthy. And yeah. Yeah. Of that. Yeah. I, I, I wish I, I wouldn't put my man on social media. You need to know my business. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Exactly. And you brought up something that I see happen a lot um, out here is that men will t- just want to text back and forth and back and forth. And to me, you lose so much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You misinterpret. Mm-hmm. You, 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 It's just not a good thing. And when, when I get a person like that, that's doing that all the time, I'm like, uh, that's a quick turn off of me. Mm-hmm. It's like, you got my number clearly. Mm-hmm. Just call me, mm-hmm. or do, or do you? Maybe you got a bitch, you know. Maybe you got a female, <laughs> maybe you got a woman, and that's why you choose to text. And 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 it's, so now, once you're in the fifties, that's another thing with being in your fifties and realizing some of the stuff you catch on to. It's like, come mm-hmm. on now, mm-hmm. now you are too old for this. Mm-hmm. Now you could have tried tried that with a, not with me. I'm I'm so up on the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't DM me. Exactly. No, put on my, you can't me. put it on my page. Yeah. You can't call me. Yeah. Right. We can't talk. Yeah. I, I hate that. I told somebody like literally, um, I would say earlier this year, um, that don't text me. Just call me. I'm like, I'm not the texter. Unless it's something quick, like be there in five minutes yes. or yes. I'm on my way or something Address. like that. Yeah. I don't 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 text me. Call me. I'm like, I'm a voice to voice type of person. And so that person he was like, okay, but went right back to texting. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, now I'm just going to ignore you. Yeah. I'm not going to, either you're going to pick up the phone and call me or we just not going to have conversations because, mm-hmm. you know, I don't, I don't like that. But they can't call you because somebody else is hearing their voice and then mm-hmm. they won't know part. who you're talking to. Mm-hmm. They in the corner texting real quick. I'm trying to play mm-hmm. back and say, coworker or that. Yeah. So get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. Right. And social media is the devil. <laughs> 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 I've been saying social media was a devil for a long time and got a lot of pushback because of, there's a lot of naive people Very. on social media. There's yeah. a lot of people that need somebody else's advice. Mm-hmm. Like I say, you have to have some type of foundation to pull from so that you won't be 
uh, bamboozled so that you won't be naive, that so that you won't be taken advantage of, you know, and, you know, one person is telling you to go this way and you go this way and that doesn't work. And then this person say, oh, no, you shouldn't have did this. You should have did that. But you're really not at the end of the day doing what's good for you. Mm hmm. You know, because what you like and what you like, I might not like. Right. Vice versa. And I don't care if you don't like what I like as long as I like it. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people out there. I don't know. Andrew saying that she, she didn't like my dude's yeah. shirt. And right. so, you know, right. dude, I can't be with you no more. And that could be the love of your life. And because you worried about what your friends or, or your relatives say, you ain't got nobody. Or somebody on social media that you don't even freaking know. That don't even have a man or a woman yeah. that. Yep. Mm. Yep. Because mm -hmm. yeah. that is definitely one of my main issues I see with social media is you have groups of people saying they don't like, let's say, plant A. I don't like this plant th because insert whatever reason. And because they don't like this plant, they want everybody in the world it's not to like that plant. particular plant mm -hmm. as opposed to just keeping it at you just don't like it. And that's cool. You don't have to. But there's other people that will like that plant, but they want everybody to not like the plant. That's what I see on social media. And you have so many followers that just be like, OK, well, I'm not going to like the plant either. Right. And it's right. like but then they get mad and be like, I'm single. Don't nobody want me. No, you a follower. You're not a leader. So. And you like big women, and and then when you showed your woman, they you know they tore your woman up. <laughs> but you got to remember, uh, the, a lot of those women on my six hundred pound life got husbands. All of them got husbands. <laughs> All of them. They definitely got husbands. Mm -hmm. Feeding them good and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Washing so, their booty and everything. We're gonna have to talk, think about this a little bit more. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna have to do a part two. Absolutely. Yeah. Final thoughts. Who um. Social media, I just say be careful. It is it, it's not the real world. It's it's um fake and you 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 need to be uh just re remind yourself that as as you speak and meet people on social media. So it's okay, it's fun, but it's not real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mona. Social media, play at your own risk. Mm -hmm. Social media is for entertainment purposes only. Mm -hmm. Certain Things will get you towed up. <laughs> like Adrian said, be very careful. Um, take uh, a lot of this stuff with a grain of salt. Uh, a grain of salt. Don't let different people's opinions uh, form uh, who you are as a person. Know who you are. Know your character, your integrity, your uh, deal breakers, and your morals and values. And don't worry about what nobody else thinks. <laughs> yep, I agree with both what the lady said. Um, when you decide to log on to social media. You're logging into the Matrix. It's make-believe. <laughs> it's virtual reality. They've had movies that came out back in the past that used to talk about virtual reality. This is where we're at now. So what you see in there does not necessarily mean it's the truth. Stand on your principles. Go with your morals and values when it comes to dating and stop relying on social media. Like, go outside. Touch some grass. Talk to some people in real life. Shake some hands. Give some hugs. You'll like it. I promise you really will like it instead of hiding behind the screen and sending messages and you know, be be you in the real world. Yeah, be a leader, not a follower. There you go. <laughs> be a leader and not a follower, you know. So please like, share, subscribe to our channel if you feel like we should, you know, address a topic that we haven't yet. Put it in the comment section. Let us know what you think. And um, we will definitely follow up and go through it. So BGP, we're out. Bye.